It's a new problem we're going to try to fix. I suspect that we need to replace our filtration system on our home. Every time we run the shower like that, and we either flush the toilet or run the water in our house, we start to lose pressure. So stick around and let's see if we can solve it. Let's do it. All right, so the system I'm talking about is made by Express Water. We have the heavy metals um, house full, whole house filtration system on here. One of my things that I'm speculating is that when the water is running, we actually can't run two showers at once right now because we get a serious drop in water pressure here. And I think it drops the whole house. So I don't know if that's because the filters are ready to be changed. You can see like this one is really discolored. So we're gonna go ahead and do that today. And uh, one, we'll show you how to do it. And two, we'll see if this solves our problem. Go for it, kiddo. All right, try flushing the toilet again. I've recently ordered on Amazon a replacement filter system for our house. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this with you guys so you can see everything that comes in the box. Um, so if we do have problems, it says to call them. So if I can't get my pressure back, I will have to call them. But this particular unit is anti-scale filter. So this is a whole house system including toilet showers. Uh, we want to try to reduce the scale in those areas to help cleaning um, because before this system, like we were constantly cleaning the showers and stuff because of the buildup. So, um, so that's good. We might have to call them today. Then in the box, what we have is the filters. So there are three filters that come in here. Um, filter changing, uh, it does talk about uh, what you will need. Inside the box, we've got our um, different ones. So this is a Micron one, rust, uh, dirt, silt, sand, other sediments. We've got this one, they're all pretty heavy. So this is phosphates. Uh, this is uh, working on the scale and corrosion sediment issues and then this one and this one is pretty heavy uh this one's removing chlorine pesticides uh odors different tastes organic chemicals in the box uh i believe there are uh three different types of uh filter systems that you can get uh, i'll leave the link below uh to amazon Here is a look at the instructions uh, that they say to use. So if you guys need those and you've lost yours, uh, here's the front side. Uh, also, here is the back side. Uh, I also want to call out right here in the second paragraph, it does say if you notice a drop in your water pressure in your home or on the pressure gauges, this usually indicates that you're ready for a filter replacement. So once your pressure drops between 20 or 10 and 20 PSI from your initial pressure, we suggest replacing your filter. So um, this does kind of uh, align with my original thought, and that is the water pressure is actually indicating that these filters are, are done being useful and we need to get them out. So, um, so I believe we're on the right path.
All right, I did have a plumber come in, and you could say this is pretty elaborate. Though, I mean, I, I'm in a crawl space, so my water meter and everything, I this is some of the shoddiest uh, plumbing work I've ever seen. They literally put it, my crawl space is right here, and look at what they did. This this is so nasty. But anyway, uh, so what they did was, is we have a shutoff valve to the house uh, right here. But uh, what this ends up doing is rerouting itself all the way back to the filters. So the water now gets redirected through the filters, back up through this pipe, and it comes right back uh, into the house. So anything that uses water here. So um, what the instructions say to do first is uh, turn off your water. Uh, to the house. Now, we don't we don't have to. Really, what we're trying to do here is shut off the water to uh, to this over here. But for the sake of releasing the pressure, uh, the first thing that we are going to do here is uh, turn off the water here, and then what that does is it stops uh, the water coming to this point here. So even if I were to have forgotten to turn that off and turn that one off, we still technically don't have water going to this, but we're going to go ahead and turn that off, and then we're going to run a faucet, and then we're going to wait for that to uh, that pressure to end. And then um, what you'll see is there are these little buttons on the top, and before you un take your key and unlock these, you're going to press that to release that pressure uh, so that these come undone really easily. All right, it says to turn on the nearest water, uh, and we're going to run this until the water goes away. So we'll just see how long that takes. All right, so that took approximately about a minute and a half for that pressure to release. Um, so what I'm going to do now is this is the, for me, this is the scary part. Although the instructions, uh, say to do this, it says prepare for water discharge from the system, then press the, uh, then press the release button. Uh, so I'm not sure what, uh, what that means, but let's try it. Oops. All right, so we got, we had, uh, so we had some water actually shoot out, shoot out the side of this. I did grab some uh, towels that we don't really care about because it's dirty down here. Uh, and I'm not sure if you guys can uh, really see, but I just tucked, I just tucked that underneath there. I pressed the red buttons. Nothing really happened other than some water drained out of where the button is. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. But what I'm going to do now is take the key that came with um, with this. And I'm going to just put it in between. Uh, uh, so this is on pretty good. Oh, man. Okay, so... Oh, woo! That was tough. That, that was on there tight. I had pressed that red button again to release some more of that pressure. But um, you don't need this the whole time. Uh, and what we're going to do is use our bucket to pour any excess, uh, any excess water into, uh, this thing. So be careful. These are full of water and they're going to be heavy. So we're just going to take our time. No reason to rush here. Oh yeah. There's water going everywhere. Oh, shit. Ah, damn it. Okay. Ah. Going 
gonna go ahead and pour that water out. Um, look at how nasty that water is. That's pretty freaking gross. Ugh. That's old, that's new. It's pretty gross. on the little hole and then what we're going to do is kind of just move that to, to the side so that's number one okay so now let's get the second one off all right so that one came off came loose easier Again, where there's a lot of water coming out of here. Jesus. Oh man. Oh. Can you hear that? It's actually breathing because it was soaking wet. Uh, it's... All right, so what we're gonna do... Oh! Oh, this thing was full of water still. Okay, so now we got that one out. All right, so this is going to, all right, so this is gonna be a messy job. I have water everywhere down here. Uh, so be, uh, be prepared. Uh, and before I actually put in this second one, uh, I'm gonna take the third one off just to make sure I do these in, uh, the correct order. Okay, so now it's time to take off the third filter. Man, these are on here. Oh, geez. All right. Oh, that, that's gross. So this one is black. Due to, uh, due to the filter in there. So now, what we're what I'm gonna do is uh, put these in. I don't believe that there is a particular order uh, that it needs because it does not say the order uh, to filter these. So um, uh, we're gonna put in the uh, the phosphate one second, and then we're gonna put in the blue one. Uh, third, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slip that back in there right in the center And then we're gonna come back in here and Remember ready tidy lefty loosey So we're gonna do 
get that in. Ah. Ah. We're going to tighten that up. All right, now on to the second filter. Bottom, same. So don't, don't lose those O-rings, okay? And inside, inside of here, I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, there is a little place for that. So there's like a male piece that goes into the female piece. Okay. All right, so those are nice. Those That's nice and snug. And then the last one. Then what we're going to do is hand snug that up. And that's all there is to it. So now i got to get rid of my nasty bucket of water that was in the filters. Um, the reason why it's black is the last one again had carbon in it as a filter. So it turned uh, the water black. So what I'm going to do is get all this stuff out of here and then we'll turn the system on uh, back together. All right. So this is the true test, if you will. Um, sorry about the lighting. Like I said, it's in a crawl space. It's hard to see. So I'm trying to get you the best light that I can. But, um, so this is the true test. So we tighten those down uh, with the key. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is turn on this, this water. We're gonna let that flow, uh, flow out. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to turn on this water. So we're gonna let water flow in. You can see that our first filter is filling up with water uh, as it's supposed to. So now I'm gonna fill on, turn on the entire house, house water. Nice and easy. Don't open it all the way at once. Okay, let it flow in, because if you have any leaks, uh, you're not gonna blow all your stuff out. Okay. So the next one should be filling up. So I'm going to open it just a little bit more. We're going to start to see our pressure gauges are starting to pick up. We're past 10% on each, our uh, pounds I believe I should be saying. All right, now I'm gonna open up the pressure even more on the house. All right, so we now have full pressure open. We are currently maintaining pressure. Uh, no visible, no visible leaks. So I would consider this a success. We're gonna do a test on the pressure. And that's all there was to it. I think maybe this took me about, I don't know, because I was recording maybe about 20 minutes. Um, a few things I would say at the very end here is when you're taking uh, your bucket of water up, do that first, then take your filters up. Use your bucket for the filters because they're still going to be full of water. And if you don't want water all over your house, um, that's going to help you. Now, I carried all three up at the same time in my bucket, and uh, it was it was heavy. So um, if you can't lift heavy weights, do them one at a time. It's worth it. Uh, but the other thing is it did uh, fix our pressure issue that we were having in the house. Um, I do recommend one of these. It has uh, reduced our... Uh, scale and overall taste in our water. Uh, we don't really have horrible water here where I live, but um, it's not, it's also not the greatest. So uh, we have uh, this system on the whole house, and then we also have a reverse osmosis uh, upstairs 
uh, for our drinking water. But if you have any questions, please leave them below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we got more coming at you.